welcome to GamesWise, it's me Wisecrack and in today's episode, a look at the limbo because this bastard is too misunderstood and I'm gonna explain him to you. But first, the build, the energy siphon, the blind rage and the intensify for the power strength. Of course, some health and some shields with the vigor mod. I got streamlined because I wanna use my abilities as much as possible. Flow is always installed. Then, of course, I got the overextended and the stretch. And for power duration, I got continuity. So, let's take a look at the first power or the first ability called Banish. And what do you do? Well, you go to your enemies and you just banish them to the rift. But in this case, I just banish them to hell because they die immediately. Well, that's what power strength does for you, I guess. So that's very handy. Look at this. Bam. He's dead. And now this, this big guy, the Eximus, also dead. Doesn't matter. They all die with the banish. You can also banish your own teammates, but in this case, they can't be hurt by the enemies. But when using your Cataclysm ability, you create a dome where they can fight in. You can also troll the fuck out of your teammates, but I don't recommend that. Don't be a bitch. Just, just be a nice guy. And the next ability is called Rift Walk. You banish yourself to the rift plane where you cannot be heard anymore. You are invincible. You are in another dimension where they cannot hurt you. But if you banish your enemies, you can punish them again. And because continuity is installed, I got almost 40 seconds to walk in this rift plane. So this talkable ability it's very handy for when you want to be invincible and choose your own time to become deadly again. So use this ability wisely. Also in the rift plane you cannot pick up resources. But as soon as you get out of the rift plane you can pick it up again. Rift Surge is the third ability where you do extra damage against enemies who are banished to the rift plane. So again you need to be smart when using this ability. Use it only when you are in a cataclysm or fighting against a banished enemy. The damage bonus that you inflict upon your enemies is affected by power strength. And last but certainly not least the cataclysm ability. This ability is what it's all about. You can see how great this ability is. And because it's talkable now, you can use it in a whole different way. And I'm gonna show it to you. You can use it as an instant kill mechanism. Look at this. You see a group of enemies and you use your ability and BAM! They're gone. Of course, I'm very lucky because I got a Nova with me. But it doesn't matter. Because this ability and this limbo is strong enough to fend for himself. And look at this. Just blow up people. Okay, you see that enemy? He's fucking scared to get in my rift plane because he knows what will happen. He will die immediately. Anybody who walks through this tear in the rift plane will get some impact and some blast damage when they walk through it. So they get extra damage every time they walk through the rift plane. And with time, this fear will get even smaller and smaller so they can be hurt again and again. So with this ability you can defend an objective but also you can go on the offensive and blast toys every enemy in your face. But again you need to know when to use what ability so be smart when using the limbo. Now sit back and relax and see how I use them.
Because my strategy worked so well, I wanted to try something. So, overextended, we'll get it. Transferred by Transient Fortitude and Fleeting Expertise so I can use my abilities as much as possible. So let's do a Tower 3 Capture Mission to see how great my abilities are against higher level enemies. And you can see now, the spear is not so big and it will get smaller very fast. But it doesn't matter because I only use it when I see a group of enemies and I want to blast them to another dimension. So let's see how I did. First of all, I can go into the rift plane myself and be invincible against every enemy that comes in my way. But because my continuity mod is, is gone, it's not very long anymore it's only about six seconds so I have to be fast I have to be smart but look at this BAM I use my cataclysm and everybody dies and that's the main reason why I built the limbo like this you must also remember that this ability is toggable so use it whenever you please and just shut it off whenever you please and as you can see in this tower 3 mission the limbo has no problem to fend for himself The limbo was just always too misunderstood. You need to know how to work him. Look at him. He is a dapper bastard. So you need to be kind and you need to be wise to be using him. And that's why I made this build. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios. And that's about it. Of course, <laughs> I forgot the most important one. The irradiating disarm. That's what it's all about. So let's check it out. What does it do? Well, of course, it disarms your enemies, but also, can you see it? Some kind of glow. I'll explain.